So I know a lot of people don't like linear fusions because of how much they have to compete with other heavies in game, and how they also lack any sort of perks or place in game to make them worthwhile compared to others. But I believe Season 15 will allow these weapons to shine like never before, and there are a few reasons. Firstly, next season we'll have the Unstoppable Fusions mod, which is a brand new artifact mod that will last for the whole season and is something we have never seen before. Secondly, both Standard and Linear Fusions will be getting a rework of some kind, which is unknown as to what will change, but it will make them either stronger than they currently are now, or just basically give them better usage all round. With this in mind, Common Exotics with Fusions may see a high increase for endgame content, such as Telesto, Merciless, Jotun, Sleeper Stimulant, and Queenbreaker, etc. Although, most of these weapons such as Telesto and Jotun are already popular to the general masses. However, depending on the content and encounter made, not everyone will agree to use an exotic fusion since other exotic weapons will have a better performance against certain enemies. There is one legendary weapon that I believe will become popular in endgame content, that is both slept on and highly effective for bosses alone. The Threaded Needle is a legendary power linear fusion rifle, which is a precision frame, meaning it fires a long range precision energy bolt. This weapon was first introduced in Season of the Chosen and can still be collected by completing battleground missions or using the Umbral Engrams via the Prismatic Caster to create a chance to drop them. Looking at the base stats, we have Impact 41, Range 43, Stability 52, Handling 35, Reload Speed 28, Charge Time 533, and Magazine 5. Now, its stats are average at best. Its range, stability, and handling is quite low, which means you can't rely on weapons effectively in a short moment. This can easily be adjusted though through perks and mods available. For PvE, there are many roles to look out for. Fluted Barrel, Liquid Coils, Clown Cartridge, and Dragonfly is a decent role for taking out minor, majors, and ultra enemies, especially with the fact that you're getting a stability, handling, and impact increasement. Clown Cartridge randomly overfills the ammo and reloading, and Dragonfly creates elemental damage explosions on kills, which we can enhance by attaching the Dragonfly mod. Another good role for PvE would be Rapid Hit and Vorpal Weapon. Maybe it is very useful against bosses for Legend of Sectors, Strikes, Nightfalls, or Raids. This is the role you'll want to ideally have for Nightfalls and Grandmasters as you're getting a 15% mini boss and boss damage boost, which will be helpful against the unstoppable bosses you face. And Rapid Hit will increase the reload time for the weapon. On top of that, we can then add on the boss or major spec for a 7.77% weapon damage buff for that extra kick. We do lastly have perks such as Autoload and Holster, Fill Prep, and Frenzy, which are all great as side perks to keep if you don't manage to get the God Ball as shown. These perks will define how the weapons feel and impact your journey from start to end. Maybe you won't use linear fusions as you prefer normal fusion instead. Or perhaps you prefer exotic versions instead since they offer unique perks that nothing else can match. The choice is yours but I highly recommend you go ahead and nab this beauty just in case linears have a clear advantage compared to others. Which they do. They offer range and increased precision and damage, something that is highly important in the hardest tiers of Nightfalls. So if you enjoyed the video then please leave a like and sub and also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny or general content if you dig that type of stuff, link is down below. But once again, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you all in the next one.